what you illusionize about yourself and what you do when you face reality are different. You have a room next to me, three boys. What do you want more? You have room with toilet, private toilet, private bathroom. And there are two bathrooms on both sides, for them even. One with a tub, one with a shower. And they have a toilet, private, everything right in their room next door, in front of the door. Except, huh? Attached. Attached, yeah. But not, not really attached, you know, the corridor like this, and their room at one side, or the bathroom on one side. That's even better. Right in front of their door, they walk across. It's a, just a corridor. They build it separately, but it's for them, for, for this room. Oh, my God, if you're thirsty, you won't die, you know, one time. It's easy to bring a bottle upstairs to drink at night if you have this habit. For that reason, you move out, for example. Yeah, but go. It's huh? a big privilege. Yeah, I know. It's a big privilege doing something for you, Master. It's not that, but uh, you illusionize. You illusionize about your mind. It's very difficult. The, the mind is very strong. The ego is fantastically in control. <laughs> and the karma is also on top of you. No, I didn't kick him out. I was surprised at how you can give in to such a thing like that. Yeah, You live next to me, even. How many people can live next to my room? Yeah. Yes, for, for that reason, you could sacrifice a little drinking. You could wait until morning. Even if that, you know, even if that caused sacrifice. I say, you should, before that, even, we always talk to each other. I say, whatever situation, we are happy. We are lucky because look at the African uh, refugees and other everywhere. They don't even have water. They have to walk 10 kilometers or 10 miles to get the water and a chuck on top of their head. And then, even then, they might get roped, attacked, and molested in between, in between the, the voyage. 10 kilometers for water, just for a jug of water, if they even have a jug to carry. You know, you see the Dafu and everything like that. You know all this, right? So whatever it is, we have the best. We have the best of luck already. They know all that. And still complaining about cannot drink water at night because of the dog. Because at night, you know, I open the door so the dog don't only stay in my room. Whoever wants to stay in my room stays. Whoever likes to stress, you know, sometimes they like to go out in the corridor and sleep there. Why not? Yeah? It's cooler, some dog like cooler, some dog like next to me. They're all free. The corridor is big, you know, bigger than my room even. I can fit all the ten dogs in my room, but it's tight, you see? So I open the door so whichever dog wants to go out can go out. And because of that, he doesn't want to, uh, to go out in case the dog barks. But the dog won't bark because they know him. He won't bark. So what's the problem? I don't know. Just wants to have his own room because there are four rooms there, you know? So one person, each room, more privacy. I asked you already, what do you want privacy for? To do what? <laughs> to do something secret that people don't have to know? No secret, no? Huh? Yeah. Because the house is big, of course, it's tempting, you know? It's tempting to go there, have your own room. Yeah, that will go with time. Now I give them that room anyway. But that person also had other problems, so he left. Also family problems and all that. But not because of that. You know, he stayed long after the, the house problem. After that, I said, just stay here for a while, you know? A few more days, then we clean up the house inside out first, and then you can move. I feel safer that way, because a long time nobody lived in the guardian house. They didn't have guardian. So they just put all kinds of things in there, like a storage. You see what I mean? And when I first came to check the house, I saw it already. I didn't like it. We have to clean up everything. The carpet was stinking, wet, and dirty, you know, everything. Moly. You can't do that. You have to change the carpet. Yeah, at least clean the house. Clean everything before you touch it. Yeah? And we were short of manpower at that time because we just moved. Next day, you want to move already? I said, nope. Not now, not now. We have a lot more important things to do first, yeah? We have to buy more utensils for cooking, buy vegetables. There's no time to move there. And in a dirty, neglected, and, 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 and old, moldy, damp house, a long time not used. But they think I control them. It's not like that. What for I control anybody? Huh? To control somebody, you have to always be with them too, like the police with the criminal, and they have to be shackled with each other. <laughs> it's not, I don't want that. 
But the karma is a, is a really incredible thing. And the ego is another incredible thing. My God, I never imagined the karma or the ego can do so much damage to people, yeah, to their understanding. That some even go against my order. For, for, you know, even like SMTV or in this case, for example. They don't mean to. It's just their karma. You don't know. Some people, some of you, have been doing damage to me in the past. For example, take away my possessions. Uh, reported me because of jealousy, because of my fame. People loved me and didn't like it. You didn't understand why, because your level was too high. You were my employee, maybe, yeah? Or you were my friend, and then you turn against me and all that. And all these residues is still coming back. Yeah? Not everybody is enlightened. <laughs> so I'm telling you, uh, I would be happy if I had nothing. <laughs> and nobody, no disciples. But the situation is because I have people, I have pets, I need a house. The pets are also karma that comes to me because you don't want your pet, you give away your pet. And not you, but I mean some, yeah? And then all that I have to take care, yeah? For example, all kinds of things I have to take over because you, you make a mess of it. For example, like that. Now, some people who before, you know, excuse me, uh, like murder to me, for example, yeah? And even now they can stay in my house, but their residue is still very, very hurting. Anything they do sometimes, unconsciously, it hurts because they vowed to come back after being in hell for a long time. They vowed to come back to redeem. To, to help me or to do something to redeem themselves. But they cannot help the, the force of karma, sometimes very strong. The destined karma for this life, they struggle with it. And as I say to you, the residue comes flying to them and clings onto them, latches onto them, and make trouble also, yeah? And if you don't meditate enough, then these things can uh, cause trouble for us. So I'm just warning you. <laughs> that things are not as easy like my generosity. Everybody can come to stay in my house. There's no doubt. I love to bring all of you. <laughs> I love all of you even to stay here and meditate. Yes, you could just stay here and meditate or something. If you don't have any financial problems, you could stay here, you put money together and you meditate. And it's also fine. And maybe, I, huh? Can we come here often? Yeah, you come often if you want, yeah? And you meditate, okay? But why spend so much money coming and going? You meditate in your own center, also fine. Only when I'm here, you come. Or if you want to uh, permanently stay because you're Austrian and you don't have anything else to do and you want to meditate or you want to stay here to do translation or something, you know, quietly, then it's also possible, yeah? Uh, if, if you can afford just one meal or two, three meals a day, that's fine. You understand me? And no burden to anybody. It's okay, huh? Yeah. Because I'm not here, you know? So I don't know who take care of you, so you have to take care of yourself like that. Okay? Yeah. Uh, one thing. It's, 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 it's very terrible all these years uh, because uh, sometimes uh, people come to my house. And of course, I need some assistance, yeah? But uh, I never checked people, you know? So they come and bring so much trouble. And sometimes also physically harming me. But I don't want to say who's who, <laughs> okay? So sometimes it's not that easy just to take somebody in. You know what I mean? Uh, from now on, I have to be more careful. <laughs> yeah, it's so scary. You don't know that. So scary. Even from afar, if I contact some of you, or s you know, that had the similar karma in the past, it will go on spin again. It will touch again my physical you know, being and make trouble for it, at least physically. And that's how I run around two days instead of two hours to come here. Because I wasn't careful enough. I thought I, I could uh, use some help. But help sometimes costs a lot. It's not just two hours, but two days. It cost me a lot more money because I had to pay so much extra. And for the ticket that I could not use. And the other ticket, <laughs> it's not can refund the other ticket, maybe, but the ticket already used, I cannot go and claim. I don't want to, it's just too much trouble. Then I have to give them uh, my uh, account number and all that, which is very inconvenient. And it has to be in a certain country and all that, blah, 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 you know, it's just... So I consider it lost.
all that money and that extra money for long distance taxis and everything else, you know, and the whole yeah. cabin, you know, uh, to pay for the whole cabin and all that. Wasting a lot of time and walking uh, so many uh, platforms. It was just very exhausting. When I first came here, you know, I don't know how I could even stand. But, you know, I saw you smiling faces, you know, okay, you know, we talk a little bit. But that night, I was really dead. <laughs> After uh, I finished talking with you, I was dead. And I had revived myself the next day, you know, uh, at noon. <laughs> but when I came back, uh, I still could not sleep even. Something made me turn around, turn around. I could not even meditate well, because before that, I still had to take care of some other work. Paperwork, yeah, um, information work. And then after that, I thought I was tired enough, I'd be dead. But then I turned around all night long. That's why in the morning I was dead. That's why you didn't see me until noon or something. Yeah, I feel a little ashamed, but I was just dead. I didn't know anything anymore. If I could have meditated, it would have been better, but I couldn't. Something just turned me around, around, around like uh, some pin <laughs> under your chair or under your seat, you know what I mean, that kind of feeling? Very irritating, yeah? And it should not happen like that to me, actually, yeah? But sometimes the karma is so much, it makes you like that, yeah? Uh, it's good like that, so I understand you also. Sometimes you could not meditate. I, that's why I always understand you, yeah? Because it's also happened to me, even to me, yeah? Because I take on so much. And this body, even though it's super, but it's uh, also like you, né? like yours. Né? Okay. It's very strong already. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at my little body, you know. <laughs> I drive it relentlessly. <clears throat> With all kinds of things that have been heaped onto it, you know. Even many operations, broken arm, pain everywhere. It's, it's really amazing. It's still here. Huh? Yeah. Wonderful. I'm very thankful, yeah, to this vehicle, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs>